Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. As you have already come to know the topic of this video from the description section, but <clears throat> uh, let me uh, clarify that why I am making this uh, video in in different parts because uh, uh, if I try to accommodate everything in a single video, the video will become big, and uh, I believe nobody likes to watch the big videos. So <clears throat> we will see uh, the. We will see that this uh, subject in this business central wave two in three parts of this video, and in this part one, we will see how to set up the unrealized or the deferred VAT in the business central wave two. Okay, so well as we have already seen in the last part of my video that uh, we have uh, how to install the latest version of business central that is wave two, and this is the web client of this latest version, and <clears throat> the best thing. Uh, which Microsoft has uh, introduced in this web client uh, is that uh, the department button is now available and to check that just click on this and see this is the department menu which we have already seen in the Windows client and till now uh, previous to be this version the department menu was not available in the web client part but now it is available and if I click on this explore all it will divide uh, the group into the different categories and so I think it's a very nice feature so let's get back to our video first and as we know that uh, uh, to set up the deferred or the unrealized VAT we have to Go to the general ledger setup to open the general ledger setup just go to the finance click on setup before i show you the general ledger setup let me go to the vat posting setup this is the vat posting setup and we all know this window is basically used to set up all the VAT part with through which the system calculates the VAT in the order or the invoice. So if we check right now the setup, we have a fields like VAT business posting group, VAT product posting group, description, VAT identifier, VAT percentage, VAT calculation type, sales VAT account, purchase VAT account reverse charge VAT account, VAT clause code, EU service and tax category and if we see we have not find any field on which we can set up the deferred or the unrealized VAT property okay but because uh, this is the only setup through which we can do the VAT part so now from where we can assign the under underlies the deferred property of the VAT so <coughs> to do that we have to open the general ledger setup so this is the setup part click on the general ledger setup and in the general ledger setup let me click the edit mode and here you will find the field unrealized VAT so currently it is not, in, not enabled just enable this property and when you enable this property by default the prepayment unrealized VAT property also enabled okay so with this we are telling the system that we would like to use the unrealized VAT property in our VAT calculation. Okay, so we have done the general, we are done with the general ledger setup part. Just go back and now we have to go to the VAT posting setup again. Click on the VAT posting setup and now you will find the new fields which are related to the unrealized 
are available in the white posting setup. So this is the underlies white type. Sales white underlized account, purchase white underlized account. So these are the fields which were uh, not available until and unless we do not enable the underlies VAT property in the general ledger setup. Okay. So what we need to do is that let us create a new product posting group and based on that we will make the setup of the VAT of that product posting group. So let me go back and you, I will use a search button now and type here VAT product posting group. Click here. And now let me make another. Product posting group as deferred VAT and type here deferred VAT or unrealized. Okay, so we are done with that. But we have to do the setup of the of this deferred VAT in the VAT posting setup window. So click on setup and it will open the VAT posting setup. So let let us make this uh, deferred VAT uh, product posting group setup with with the combination of domestic. Okay. Calculation of deferred VAT for domestic. Okay. This is just for identification. So we can use the same code. Here I will use a 10. VAT calculation type will always be normal VAT. Now here we are having the four or five fields available. So if we select the percentage part, it will use the consolidation. It will calculate the percentage of the amount of the invoice and the VAT amount. And based on that, it will calculate your unrealized VAT. If I use the first, uh, basically the first and the first fully paid are quite same. Last and last fully paid are quite same. The only difference is that if I use the first, then first, then it will uh, close the VAT amount first from the payment uh, amount and then it will close the invoice amount. And if I use the last, it will first close the invoice amount and then it will close the VAT amount and if I choose first and last it will it is quite same the only difference is that it will cover the full amount first so uh, for example if I select first uh, and I am having an invoice of 1000 plus 10 percent of VAT which is uh, 1100 then first of all when the vendor when we do the payment to the vendor uh, it will uh, do the payment of vendor of 100 let's say then it will uh, close the VAT part first because uh, VAT is of a, the VAT is uh, having the 100 amount in that invoice and then only the after the invoice okay so we can use based on our client requirement any of this field uh, I will use the last fully paid first and here we can define our VAT accounts for the realized and the unrealized. And here I will use the and same goes for purchase part
so now we have done the setup of underlying or deferred VAT in the VAT posting setup okay so in the next video we will see uh, how to post the invoice with the deferred VAT and check whether the system posts the VAT in the realized form or in the underlined form if you guys if you like my video please click the like button and you click the subscribe button also thank you for supporting me bye bye